Hey everybody, this is Grasshopper. So here's the um, first video for the first match using the first time, the first deck of set up in Arena for um, Warlock since uh, Mean Streets of Gadgets and today is uh, February 21st, uh, 2017. Okay, so let's get on the queue. I watched the Twitch video today of um, Ben Brode and Mike. I can't remember his last name. Anyway, but the they had the Q and A session. It, um, so I watched that today. Uh, didn't really get much out of it. I don't think. Um, it felt, you know, it just felt like PR, PR fluff. But you know, um, I, I kinda, that's kind of what I expected. But they're involved with the community now. Um, they used to not be so much. That's that's good. So we have. This looks like perfect curve. Keep that. Got imp gang boss. Hopefully we'll get that guy who buffs him up. Okay, put out the possessed villager. Job's done. So, a lot of people are worried about um, their cards going to the Hall of Fame. Some people seem pretty strongly upset about that. I don't. I don't understand why. Um, I don't think it's that big a deal. I mean, you want the game to change. You don't want it to be stagnant. Okay, so she could. So you could use this mistress to take out my possessed villager. And so many possibilities. I don't know about that, but see, I could use my hero power because this thing's going to heal me eventually. Um what to do in this case I don't know what to do exactly because I could do the, that I could take so it out possibilities. it's this is a tough this is three damage though so I'll put should I put her out or should I just should I draw because maybe I should just do, use my hero power and no need to hit well I'll just go ahead and attack whatever that's I'm having trouble with that but we'll see what happens I guess I'll use my hero power because I'm gonna get healed from the mistress of mixtures so it's like well I'm trying to take advantage of that I guess might be a bad choice um let's see put out imp put out imp game boss do that let's see I could finish take out the mistress and get I'm getting healed for two so I, I use my hero power and now I'm, I don't have the penalty the health penalty I don't know if that was the best play but that's that's what I did <laughs> that might have been an awful play I think getting imp, imp game boss out was uh, I think that's good rather than rather than removing this guy who really I don't think he really matters much. For the king. Okay, so imp game boss is gonna die. See, so I use the removal on him. Okay, see what we got here. So, like, removal, and then put out a dude. Okay, removal. There we go. Then put out a guy, and then take him out. Okay, and then go face. Okay. Yeah, but a lot of people worry about that Hall of Fame. There are cards like uh, Lace of Honest, Ragnaros, going out, but... Um, a lot of you know a lot of people are concerned about you know uh, evergreen classics being around forever. I mean, it makes the game stale, right? I mean, you want if you want some different gameplay, got to make sacrifices, I guess, huh? Okay, so play Sludge Belcher and I guess I just attack. Yeah, just attack. May just have lots of board clears. Like, what if he's got Flame Strike? So I better just get my hits in while I can. That's what I think. And he might, he could frostbolt it now though, since it's not in stealth. But 
that's the risk I run. Okay, wasn't expecting that. That's uh, that was nasty. That was no bueno. Okay, so this guy could play him. So got two turns until he could possibly flame strike me, because that's a seven mana cost card. Let's see. So put a bunch of I could put a bunch of small guys out. No, I don't want to beef him up. You know, put him out, but I can use my hero power later. And he'll get big. And we'll kill her. Um, I don't know if she is good in arena. I mean, maybe. She's removal. Thinking, yeah, I'm thinking she's pretty good. She kind of got wasted on the sludge belcher, probably, though. But that's that situation. You you know, pretty much have to do it. Gotta take out the sludge belcher. What's she called? She's called the Bomb Squad or something, and she's rare. What's the tier list say? Bomb Lobber, bomb lobber is high. Well, he's always been high. Um, not seen her in the tier list over here. <laughs> okay, this is a big thing. So, if I do this, this will. if I do my hero power, it'll beef up this guy to 6-6, six, six, and then I can remove it. Um, or I could play power overwhelming and take it out decisions decisions right okay well let's do hero power real quick I'll do that or I could just t take it completely out with this but do I want to give him a mana crystal right now and I could save that for something le later I've got minions on the board to use on my, my power overwhelming with so that's the, that's the way to go I've got minions out here Okay, so he's gonna. If he has Flame Strike, I kind of don't want to put anything on the board. Because what if he Flame Strikes it? But then I will lose momentum. So what do I do? I'm definitely gonna attack. I'm gonna attack real quick. I'm getting roped here. I guess I'll put Rage. In, oh, I'll put. No, I'll put this guy out. I guess. I'll just put one out. I'm not gonna put both out. That's too risky. Watch him use flame strike. I played mage today in draft, and I didn't get flame strike. I was sad about that. When the little rope goes, the little fuse goes. That's the little timer, and it's called um, roping. Well, it's called the rope. And then sometimes you have opponents who just let the rope go, just take their time, and uh, like tr you know. Um, abusing the rope to just kind of get on your nerves, you know, and it's a problem. A lot of people get mad about it, and um, I mean, yeah, and I've, I got, I've gotten mad about it too. I mean, no one likes having their time wasted, right? But I'm not really, but there's been discussion about it. No one really knows what to do about it. <laughs> so what can you do, right? Okay, so, uh, so, he, so he froze him. I can't take him out, so now's the time to use this. And do I want to use my imp game boss? I have the board right now. Um, and what if he plays flame strike? He might still be sitting on one. Let me see. I could do this. Okay, do hero power, and then just put it, put her out. Okay, then I'll keep it. I'll attack again. There we go. Because might as well get the attack in. Before he flame strikes me. Oh yeah, my floating watcher got bigger, so I, I forgot about that honestly. So using okay, they gave up because um yeah, using the hero power was the better thing to do there. Probably get the floating watcher up. Okay, so I won my first match. Um, that's good. Oh okay, so that was the first one. Okay, let's play again. Let's try. I'm f feeling good, so play a second match oh I'm trying to think what else um, there was on the on the twitch video that interested me I'm having a hard time <laughs> thinking of anything I mean it was just the questions just seem pretty generic like one person asked about the testing and 
design and development and testing of the cards and uh, um, uh, and that question was kind of I don't know it didn't really interest me and they addressed that and I just was like uh, can't y'all put that in like uh, up on some forum or something that just seems like some information that you, you could just look up or should be able to just look up okay so um Kurt, I got really got a lot of expensive people here maybe get rid of him why should we get something bigger that's usually what happens yep called it I typically get I typically get um, if like there's a really expensive card I'm gonna get it <laughs> uh, let's see what, what are some other Murphy's like Murphy's laws of her stone um, yeah, Reno will never be in your opening hand. That's probably one. Okay, so we got, um, yeah, kill him. He's he's a big guy. He just, he's, I can't put anything on the board with him out there. So yeah, Murphy's Laws of her stone. So yeah, Reno won't be in your opening hand if you're playing a Reno deck. Um, oh, I know another one, Nazoth. Yeah, if you're playing Nazoth, um, he will... So I want to get the Chillwin Yeti because he can take her out. So I coined that. So yeah, if you're playing a Nazoth deck, Nazoth will be in your opening hand because, and you know, because you don't want him in your opening hand. He costs ten, and but he'll be in your opening hand a lot. So at least for me, it just seems like it's. I'm like really wow. I mean, it's one card in my thirty card deck, and he always shows his face. So <laughs> it never fails. Very rarely fails. Okay. Um, I guess it's you know people would say it's observation bias. I think it's I think it's legit. Though. I think he's just a, I think it is a thing. Okay, so he can't kill this right away. Um, this is a tough one. I, I guess I'll put him out. Job's done. Other Murphy's laws of Hearthstone. Let me see. I'm trying to think. Well, I guess, if it, yeah, if you're a warrior, you know, you never get fiery war axe in your opening hand when you need it. It's got to be more than that. We need to come up with a list. It's got to be, got to be some more Murphy, Murphy laws, Murphy's laws. Okay, so he's got a floating watcher. Too bad I'm not. Oh, and he got it. He beefed him up. So I, I maybe this may be it for me. Cause that's like, whew, man. I think it is powerful. I'm seeing the power now. Uh, play a bunch of these guys. Um, what is the play here? What's he? So I don't know. Should I play mine? He's just, he's just gonna take it out with that. I, I mean, that's all that's gonna happen. So you could kill it with this. Yeah, I'll do two damage to that. Job's done. So this may be bad. This Warlock versus Warlock. So if he's got, I don't want him to have this. He can't play it right now though. But oh yeah, I really don't. Yeah, I don't want him to have this. If he has this, that's that would hurt me really badly. My shield for Argus. That's not good either, though. And he's gonna hero power, of course. That's yeah. I'm not coming back from that. This feels yeah. It's not good. I don't have any taunts. I need my booty bay guy. See, he's got seven. Jeez, he went up to seven. That's probably it for me. That's really powerful. That Defender of Argus combo with that. So that's pretty much it. I mean... I could put this out. He's just going to go face for a 14. I don't have any taunt. Yeah, so that's it. Yep. That was really bad. I mean, that's real... Um, Hearthstone's uh, 
just uh, when it, coming from Eternal, for, I've been playing Eternal, and, the, and then I can see such, like pl game plays like that. It's just so you're just overwhelmed <laughs> so easily. Doesn't feel balanced to me. Um, but Warlock is like it's the number it's the number one class right now. So I guess losing to a Warlock is understandable, maybe. Okay, let's play another one. Let's play one more. Okay, I got. Let's win this one. Let's do it. Let's do it. Mid range right now, and Hearthstone's pretty pretty much dead. Um, Brian Kibler was talking about that. I was watching his video, and it's weird nobody says it, uh, or maybe some people have been saying it, and I just haven't seen it. But mid range is pretty dead, except uh, Dragon Priest. But uh, Dragon Priest is so boring, I don't ever want to play it. Okay, I'm okay with this. Uh, Dragon Priest is like, just, you know, get a minion, on play it on curve. Get another minion, play it on curve. And they're all big. It's like, look, I got all my big things out here, so... Um, you're going to have to come get them, and they're going to protect me. It's just, uh, oh, gross gameplay. Not much thought involved at all. That's how I feel. Get it out! Get it out! I like I like decks that have you know interesting choices. I like the discovery mechanic a lot. I think I like that. Um, wish there's more of it, or I wish it was more competitive. Just doesn't seem to work out too well. I tried to do some make like discovery rogues. Couldn't get the really to work. Okay, so imp gang boss. Okay, t take this guy out for value there. You want to cast a spell? I want to cast a spell. Okay, it's got two babbling books. I want to cast a spell. Okay. So, let's see. I guess I'll hit one of these. Okay. Hero power. Okay, that's my junk. This is probably the worst card in my deck. It's the worst one. Didn't get a chance to play this guy. He costs a lot. He, he is good though. Have faith. This guy is. He can. He can be good. Okay. Let's see. So. I could. Do I Hellfire here? Because he's just. He gets plus one attack for spells. Okay. Um. That's tough. Cause I could hit the hit this thing. You know, put out a couple one ones. Yeah. I don't know. I think I kinda wanna hit, use the hellfire if it gets really bad out here. So But if I cast a spell Yeah, I wanna get rid of him. Um or I'm gonna risk it. Okay, I'm risking it. Whatever. I'll just. I'll hit. No, I don't, don't hit that. Yeah, I'll hit that. I don't care. Yeah, I'll hit that. Get, get it killed. Get it set up for hellfire, I guess. Stage it for. Stage it to get burned up. So he's at five, five mana. Let's see what he plays. Their screen name's Hunter04. I guess they're a hunter fan. I like to play hunter sometimes. Um, I never played hunter like back when Hearthstone first came out much. I wasn't a big fan of the class. I guess I thought it was too boring. Like I said, I'm all about the. I like the decision making. And maybe it's too boring for me. So, what to do? If I can't heal fire now. So this is what I was afraid of. I risked it. Let me see. I put this guy out. And no ticket, eh? 
I'm gonna hit him. Guess I'll hit him. So I use my hero, hero power. He'll just come back and be healed. I don't. I mean, that's not anything to get excited about, though, because he's just bad. <laughs> ah. Hungry dragon. Hungry dragon's not real high up on the tier list that I have, but um, seems pretty good. Ready not too bad. Attack. Give your weapon plus one attack. Okay. That was oh, was that unstable portal? Why is it? I wish it would show it over here. You know. Um. Okay, so if I hit, if I put this guy out, he'll do one damage to everything. Um. He'll kill this. That's not really that good. I use my hero power. Um. I could remove this thing with this and then do hero power, bring him back. That doesn't seem that good. Um, give a demon plus one plus one. And I don't have a demon. I wonder. Um, so if he comes back, what will happen? I could kill this, have this guy on the board. Um, dang it, run out of time. It's not cool. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna do that. Okay, do that. Okay. Oh crap! Did the wrong thing. I should have took this guy out. Oh well. There we go. I gotta hurry. I thought too long and then ended up choking at the end. Okay, so you just took him out. So that, oh, bad. See if I should have killed him. Uh, that ruined everything. God, that's bad. It ruined everything. Let's see. Um, if I make him a six-six, should I do that? He's a demon. Huh? Um, oh, he's another 6-6. Six, six. Play this guy. Play this big guy. Okay, I'll play the big guy. Job's done. Let's see what happens. Um, I mean, if he plays something, if he turns around and plays something big, I'll hit him with a uh, blast crystal. Hit the big thing with the blast crystal potion, I guess. Hopefully he doesn't have um, polymorph. Drink the okay, Cabal Chemist. That could be bad. It could give him some kind of um, like that potion of polymorph. I don't remember the cost of that. I don't know what it costs though. Yeah, what's he doing? Okay, fireball. Use this guy, please. Oh darn. Oh yeah. This isn't going good. Okay, so. This guy could take that thing out. It would heal it though. I found that out. That's what they That's what's bad about that thing. It heals. Okay, so I need, I need to get rid of this. And right now I don't have any options. Um, okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do this. I think it's just wow. That thing's been really a pain. I mean, the hungry dragon. Okay, this tier list I have. It's I don't know that hungry dragon. As much as he sat out there, that was ridiculous. Oh my goodness, look, he's going to take my guy out now. Okay. See, if I had more mana, I could like... Well, I can't, because he's going to increase that. Okay. Got, ooh, wait, Hellfire combined with Dart Bomb. I could Hellfire. Dark bomb. Hero power. Okay. So now we'll be at nine mana. Hopefully, play something that has four health. That'd be awesome. <laughs> okay. Well, that's four health, but that's not awesome. It makes that a five-five. Oh, talk about bad luck. 
<laughs> That's bad. Okay. Um. So, what's the play here? Put this out, start making it big. I wonder. Put this out. Hmm. Maybe get a bunch of small guys out. Threes and all that stuff. Because, okay, let's put some small guys out, I guess. Let's put a bunch of stuff out. If he doesn't have a, if he, you know, if he doesn't have a board clear. See, this, he got that potion. So, may, it might be a board clear, it might be, may not be. Okay, that's pretty strong. We must cleanse. Okay, the see, so that's one. Does it lose the buff if you eat it with the remote guy? I'm gonna test it out, I guess. Might be a bad thing to do. Let's see. And. He's got a secret. Of course he's got a secret. Everybody's got the best decks. Okay, duplicate. And kill him. I'm not gonna use my hero power. I think I'm getting uh, I'm getting low. And of course if he has a uh, fireball would take me out. If I get too low, fireball will kill me. It's not going too good. This guy's just been too expensive. He's just sitting here. Uh, <clears throat> I've had him used against me. People, well. I've had people do real, do really well with him. Well. It's not doing too well for me. These, that, that's just, uh, uh, it's not good. This isn't going well at all. That hungry dragon just, I mean, that was really changed things. Um, so I don't want to do that. He's got, I wish I would show you what was inside him. Um, I guess kill that. Animation took a long time. Um, so he had, I can't even remember what he's got in him, he had something that was buffed, flame strike, okay, so it's coming back out where it was. Okay, it did lose its buff. That's good. Trust me. So, okay, he's got this thing that will actually heal me, okay. Um, so I could use the potion on that, or trade, potion or trade. That's my option. So he's at 10 mana, so I mean. Um, I'm thinking. I'm thinking I'll do the potion. And hit her. Cut. And then uh, put. Um, put. How much health do I have? Okay. Um, put this out. Okay. It's pretty strong. He's gonna have to ping that guy. That guy. Hopefully, he doesn't have anything more that. Okay, that's not anything too scary. It's pretty weak. Um, this thing will kill it. Um, let's see. This thing could kill it, and puts a big thing on the board. Oh, damaged me there too. I forgot about that part. So, I got 12 damage on the board. 
Okay, he's gonna kill. He's gonna go face. He's got. Oh, is he have like fireball? Damn it, he's got fireball. What? What was that? I don't even know what that was. I don't even know why he did that. Um, so. Yeah, um. Just put, I'll just put him out. I'll just kill this. I guess he's. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know why he did that. I don't know why he went face. I think I would have took out the heal bot. It would have given him health. Pay attention, class. Okay. What's he doing now? He's hitting himself. Okay. I don't even. Oh, I, I I don't know what happened there. That was close. I mean, he should have had me. I didn't think I was going to win that. Okay, well, I'm going to take a break, though, because um, I'm going to take a break. I'll uh, see you on the next video, okay?